<clears throat> it's going to be audio only, too, because of the internet bill. But, I'm sorry if you hear my mom in the other room. She's talking or laughing or whatever the fuck. That's the fucked up thing about... Oh, I have to remove my headphones. That, but anyways, oh, and I'm sitting behind the fan, so hopefully the fan doesn't affect the audio. But I'd rather you hear the fan and then my mom in the other room. I mean, I've recorded outside when it was windy and it affected the audio, so I don't care. Okay, anyways, but yeah, but I'm sorry if you hear my mom laughing or talking in the other room. Um, and that's the mo that's the fucked up thing, um, is... You'd be talking about something serious, and then next minute someone is, like, laughing about something else in another room or something. Like, that's the messed up reality that we live in, you know? Even more messed up is, like, there's a there's somewhere someone's having sex, and at the same time, somewhere else, someone is, a, uh, you know, no longer... Being alive, if you know what I mean. Or uh, somewhere, uh, someone's giving birth, and then somewhere else, someone is, uh, you know, no longer being alive, if you know what I mean. Like, it's a messed up reality, you know. Time itself is messed up, you know. Also, I turned on the heater, so I'm sorry if you have to hear that. If it affects the audio, I apologize. I'm just doing it because to block out any noise. Um, I wanted to turn off my fan because it's all dusty and shit. See, that's another thing, too. Is fucking things get all dirty and corroded and... Like, it's just, there's, it, there's no fucking point to any of this, you know? I don't understand why nothing, like, things never, like, things are not perfect. Or if they are, they'll never be forever. Like, that's what I don't fucking get about this realm, you know? Um... But this video is supposed to be about suffering. I don't want to get off topic about why do things break and why are things not perfect. That could be a completely different topic. I don't know if I'm ever going to make a video talking about that. But this is, yeah, this video is about, like, suffering and shit like that, you know. I'm putting the phone down, so I'm sorry if you can't hear me. I've made multiple videos about suffering and the concept of it, but I just kind of want to talk about it in a near-death experience sense, you know what I mean? There's a lot of near-death experience people that say stuff like God loves it when you're suffering, or maybe they might not phrase it like that, but they might say, maybe not like that, but they'll say like, a, God wants you to suffer, or you ha like just something about you have to suffer for some reason, and I, I think... Suffering is unnecessary. I think we can live in a reality without suffering. They, they, they try to argue that suffering, it's necessary because, like, you learn from it. But I think you can learn in a reality without suffering. Like, there's many things, like, there's many things to learn. You can learn things without suffering. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. You know what I mean? Like, there could be a completely, there could be a realm completely devoid of suffering and you could still be learning things, you know? I don't understand why we can't play on easy mode, you know? It's more fun, I mean, have you ever, have you ever played a video game where you've cheated, you put the cheat codes in, or maybe you modded the video game? Isn't it more fun? Isn't it not? I don't get why we can't do it like that where we're flying around and shit. That's more fun than actually playing the game. Some people could disagree with me on that, but yeah. That's just my opinion. I mean, I don't know. I just think suffering is unnecessary, you know what I mean? Yeah, sorry about the heater. And again, I'm making this audio only, so then the file size... the Reduce the resolution size, so then the file size is smaller. But anyways... Um, this kind of goes back to the whole toxic positivity, near-death experience thing, you know what I mean? And I know, by making these videos, I understand that I'm, I'm stepping into very controversial territories and topics, and I'm kind of, like, being a little risky by offending people or getting canceled, but I'm not being a hater at all. 
<clears throat> merely a critic, you know? <clears throat> Hopefully I don't lose my voice. I feel like I'm losing my voice. <laughs> yeah, I'm not hating or anything. I just don't get it. I just, I never had a near-death experience, so maybe that's why I'm not getting it. You know what I mean? But when it comes to these near-death experience people, again, I might be losing my voice, so I apologize. When it comes to these near-death experience people, it's like, um, they're toxic positive about it, and they try to justify suffering, like, like we need it or something, I don't know. That's kind of what religious people do as well, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah, I had to go get a drink and do my inhaler and stuff. See, it's fucking stupid. I mean, I'm losing my breath, you know. Can't even fucking talk to make a video. I have to keep leaving my room to fucking drink water, like, drink water and do my inhaler. Well, I only did my inhaler once, but, you know. It's just, I'm suffering, you know what I mean? And it's like, okay, God's happy that you're suffering. Or maybe he's not happy, but... He's happy that you're learning from suffering, and it's just so fucking BS. I mean, that's not the God that I worship. In fact, I don't even worship a God at all. I used to worship many gods, but I just kind of, I, I, I believe in a God, but I, oh, I don't know what to, I definitely believe in an afterlife, but what I'm trying to get at is that why. We could be in a realm right now where there's no suffering at all. We could still be learning from something, like, for instance, why can't we live in a realm where... Well, learning how to make music. Sure, we might be able, like, um, like, sure, in that realm of existence, we might still fail at making music, but we're not suffering. Failing isn't necessarily suffering. I think both, I think failing at shit and suffering, I think they're both unnecessary, but, de but definitely suffering is unnecessary. Definitely. I mean, failing at something, it's not as bad as suffering, but, you know. I wish we wouldn't suffer and fail at all, but I choose failure over suffering, you know what I mean? And my mom's talking in the other room, and she might be laughing, so I apologize. You know, even though she's walking, which is weird. Okay, anyways, yeah. But, yeah. I'd rather live in a reality where I'm playing guitar... And I'm sucking at it, but hey, at least I'm not fucking breaking my fingers or anything, or being in back pain, or hearing voices. I don't hear voices, but you know, or having, you know, tempo tantrums, or having OCD fits or something, you know? Those are just examples, you know? You know what I mean? Like, people suffer from physical and mental illness everywhere I go, you know? I don't get the point in suffering, you know. One thing I don't like about the soul trap people is they never talk... They, they, they don't like talking about the suffering in the mainstream news. You know, for some weird reason. And I think a lot of them are conservatives, that's why. But... See, I don't know what I identify as, you know what I mean, but... I don't know. They're, they're just the 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 the. A lot of the people in the soul trap community, I don't really agree with them. You know. The gun loving, gun toting people. You know, I don't want to get on the whole gun thing, but you know, they think more guns is the solution when actually it's the complete opposite. Less guns is the solution. You know, that's a completely different topic, but, you know, they don't even want to talk about that topic. They don't even want to talk about that topic as an example of suffering. There's so many accidents that go with, like, firearms, it's not even funny. I don't agree with the Constitution. I don't like guns at all. I don't like technology itself as a whole. You know, I don't. You know... I'm not necessarily anarcho primitivist I'm not necessarily anarcho primitivist I'm not necessarily, you know. 
it would be nice to have some technology, but disregard others, but we can't live in that world because if we have some technology, it will just keep even it would just keep advancing to more technology, so it's either all or nothing. And I choose nothing. Fuck technology, you know, fuck it, you know. We don't need knives, we don't need scissors, we don't need any of that. That's just my mentality. I'd rather go back to sticks and stones, you know what I mean? Less suffering, you know? No more car accidents, no more fucking plane... Fucking, you missed your fucking plane, flight or something, I don't know. Fucking take a boat. That's technically, te that's technically technology, a boat, but I don't know, I don't fucking care. Suffering is just fucking pointless. You know? If you want to label me a liberal, go ahead. A democrat, go ahead. But I'm not a part, I'm not a part of any community. I'm not a part of the soul trap community. I'm not, a, I'm basically like the sanity machine. In the sense that I don't identify as anything. I'm not a truther, I'm not a soul trapper, I'm not a fucking, I'm just my own free, I'm a free thinker. In, in fact, I'm not even a free thinker because that's associated with atheism, I think, I don't know. But suffering? Yeah, it's unnecessary. You know, why was I born? Like, I'm recording this before my urology appointment, so you might see this before or after it, but basically I have an upside down dong. And I want to know, it's not Peroni's disease, I know it's not, I mean it might be, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a genetically, I think it's just naturally curved that way, and it's just stupid how it is that way, you know? You can't gain weight, you know what I mean? It's like, what the fuck is even the point in me suffering? I still live with my parents, I'm 28 years old. Believe it or not, I'm losing my voice again. <clears throat> you know, I have mental diagnoses, but I don't agree with them. And then the shit that I think is wrong with me, doctors never confirm it. It's just so stupid. I failed in school. I failed. You know, I got B's in school, but it was modified work. I just suffered all my life. What the fuck's the point? God's happy? Really? Why can't he be happy that I made someone's day better? Why can't be? Why can't? Why can't be? Why can't he be happy that I fucking beat a video game or I fucking? Aced a test or something in school. Why? I just, it doesn't fucking make any sense. That's not the God that I worship. I used to worship, you know, I don't want to get into it, but you know. I'm not an atheist, but. I just, you know, I don't know. I'm just rambling on. This is going to be like 30 minutes long. I don't know, but. Apparently suffering, it's necessary because we have to learn from it to get into heaven. That's the Christianity viewpoint. I mean, it, it that kind of makes sense, I guess. But then you have this weird New Age reincarnation viewpoint, which doesn't make any sense at all. Which is, we come to this earth to learn... We come to this earth to learn and grow. Reincarnation doesn't exist. I, 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 don't even, I don't even think I believe in reincarnation anymore because it, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of reincarnation being real because if we're here to, if reincarnation, if the point of it is to learn, how do we learn if we forget in the next life? Like, you know what I mean? Like, 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 it, like it's like, like, it's like they, they, they try to argue it's like, you, can't, you came to this earth to learn through this pain of having Marfan syndrome and living with your parents so then you could succeed like somehow that makes me like succeed in the next life or something like you dropped out of high school so maybe in the next life don't do that well how do I know not to do that if my mind gets wiped, if my memory gets wiped in the next life. Makes no sense at all. So reincarnation, it's either A, a trap, or B, it doesn't exist. 
I was considering it being a trap, but now I don't even think it exists. The only thing I believe in is spirits and ghosts and spirit guides. But I'm still pessimistic. You know? So it just doesn't... It doesn't make... it. None of this shit makes sense. I can see why people go atheist and agnostic now. You know what I mean? But I'm probably going to end this because... It's too long. Hopefully I said everything that I wanted to say in this video. I wanted to make it for a while. I don't think I said everything that I needed to say, but I'm pretty sure that I did. I got off topic a lot, and I apologize. I might have to edit this a lot, but you know. Maybe I'll make a part two or something. Maybe I have to research more of this shit of how they're trying to justify that suffering is good for humanity. You know. Why would a god be happy that you're suffering? Because you're learning? Like I said, you could be... Why can't he be happy that I'm learning in other areas of life? They try to argue that God's all good. That, that doesn't sound like... That does not sound all good. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe God doesn't exist at all. Maybe it's just like... I don't want people to think that I'm... That I feel, a lot of the people on my channel think I have schizotypal personality disorder because I cling on to these weird beliefs and I'm a loner. And I have a little bit of paranoia. But I don't have the odd behavior and odd speech and I don't dress weird and I was never diagnosed. I was, diagn I was misdiagnosed with schizoaffective, but I don't even believe I have that. You know, maybe I do have, maybe this is, maybe I do have schizophrenia. Maybe I do. I don't want to get on topic about that, but maybe I do. But I don't think it's schizotypal because I'm very convinced in my beliefs. Even if I am a little wishy-washy sometimes, I'm usually convinced in my beliefs. And again, I don't have the odd behavior or an odd speech patterns. I was misdiagnosed with schizoaffective. The, that, was, that was the only schizo diagnosis I own. That I only re that I only received. Um, I never received any other schizo diagnoses. The only possible suggestion a therapist ever gave me was my last therapist, and he said, "Maybe you do have undifferentiated schizophrenia. Like it's like maybe you have some kind of unspecified schizophrenia, and that that is a thing apparently." That does fit me better. The schizophrenia, basically, I have schizophrenia without voices. You know what I mean? Like, without the voices. And that, and that makes sense more than schizotypal because I lack the odd behavior. I lack the odd speech and the odd appearance. So schizophrenia without voices makes more sense than schizotypal. That's a whole completely different topic. Well, that could get back on topic because it's like, What's the point in me? Because so, all my life I'm wanting to know what all my accurate mental illnesses. And I never really got an accurate answer. I always get these like misdiagnosis answers, you know. They said I had autism. I don't agree with that. I think I might have intellectual disability or some kind of learning disability. But it was never brung up. What's the point in... I, what's the point in... What is the point... What is the point in me getting misdiagnoses? What is the point in me thinking I have something and it never gets proven, even though I read the symptoms and it 100%... I was reading up intellectual disability. It 100% fits me. And then when I read up on autism, the disorder I was misdiagnosed with, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Intellectual disability be like, you have issues living on your own. Yes. You have issues understanding concepts. Yes. You struggled in school, yes. But that, like, it, 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 I check off every box. But when I read up on autism, the disorder that was misdiagnosed, it says sensory issues, no. Not necessarily, no. Issues reading faces or body language, no. I see, what, if God exists, what is the point in me suffering, not knowing what's wrong with me? What's the point in me 
like, I keep trying to get an accurate diagnosis, and I never do. I keep running to these doctors, and they don't have answers for me. What's the point in that? What's the point in me suffering undiagnosed in general, with no label, with no answer as to what is wrong with me? What is the point in that? I've been suffering all my life without a name to... I don't have a name to put on what I'm going through. You know, if someone asks me, what are your mental illnesses? I say, I don't even know. All I know is that I can't move out on my own. And I can't understand money and concepts similar to money and math. And, you know, I just can't fucking do shit. They don't take me seriously because they don't have a diagnosis label. What's the point in suffering with that? What's the point in me suffering with the Marfan syndrome where I can't gain weight at all and I tried lifting weights and I can't gain anything? I've been lifting weights for years and the only thing that I developed was not muscles but chronic hiccups. Really? What's the point in that suffering? If I ever have a near-death experience, I'm not coming back with hope. I'm telling you right now, this is all just a trap and a trick and it's all just... Maybe God doesn't exist at all. Maybe it's just extraterrestrials messing with us, or maybe there's just nothing after death, or there's nothing after death. I don't know. But I just don't see the point in suffering. Everywhere I go, the news is 99% fucking bullshit. Like, it, the news is all suffering, and then they talk about a cute puppy. Ooh, like they say, okay, story number one. Suffering. Story number two, suffering. Story number 69, suffering. And then, oh, at the end of the news, look at this cute puppy video on YouTube that blew up with 2 million views. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Really? Really? That's the life that we live. I don't see the point in it at all. No wonder why people go atheist and agnostic and there's a thing called mesotheism and then there's another thing called dystheism. Not to be confused with not to be confused with um, deism. Deism is when you believe God created everything and then he stepped away. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about dystheism, which is God's not 100% good. There's just no point. Basically, I might make a part two if I forget anything, but basically, there's no point in suffering. It's unnecessary. You could, Again, I, I'm just repeating myself, but there's probably a reality out there where you're still learning without suffering. And if it's impossible to learn without suffering, then I'd rather not learn anything at all. I'd rather just be, you know, unintelligent, or um, I'd rather just have everything handed to me like a cheat code in a video game, basically.